starting with the screen. On the right hand side and left hand side, we have our pre-programmed buttons. Now these can be extensions, custom speed dials, or a couple of features such as call cool pickup. On the bottom of the screen, we have call cool history. If I select that one, I have all of my phone calls. I can use the navigational keys here to go across to missed, placed, and received phone calls. If I go back, next I have the phone book. If I select enter to go into the phone book, I can use again the navigational keys to scroll up and down through the phone book. Or if I wish to search, click the search key. Now the keypad here works like an old mobile phone. So for C, I'm pressing two, three times. For R, I'm pressing seven, three times. And for A, I'm pressing two once. Now we have refined our search. Here I am. If I drop down, you'll see the call button here, highlights. So I just press call and away we go. Next we have DND, which is do not disturb. When I press the key, you will see here, top of the screen, I get my stop sign and DND mode is enabled. Press it again to take it off. Here we have our incoming phone call. My options here have changed. I can answer, which at the moment will automatically answer through speakerphone. I can silence the ringer and I can reject the phone call. I'm gonna pick up the phone and you'll notice that my options have changed again. First option here is transfer. When I press my transfer key, I can select one of the preset buttons to send the transfer. Alternatively, I can start to dial a number. Now, immediately, I can press B transfer, which sends the transfer. If I wait, then it goes to an intended transfer. When the other user picks up the phone, I can press transfer again or put the phone down after announcing the caller. If they don't wish to take the call, what I can do is I can end the call myself. I come back to my primary caller, but on hold. All I have to do now is press resume and I'm back speaking with the primary caller. Holding, simply press the hold key. There you go, you get the pause button. It shows you at the top here, they're on hold. And I press resume to get back to the caller. Using the conference option, I press conference. I'm going to dial the number of the person I wish to add and call. When they pick up, I can announce the details of my conference while the primary caller is on a hold. And then when I wish to join them all together, I press conference again. And you will see now I have both users. Should I wish to add somebody else, here's my conference key now, repeat that process. I can manage the conference and remove people. And I'm back to my original screen. End call, I'm sure we can all guess what that does. Now the physical buttons here on the right hand side, I have mute, lights up on the screen and the button. You can still hear the caller, but they can't hear you and unmute. If you use a headset, press the headset key, which lights up green and that will send the call through to your headset. If you press it again, it will come back to the Yealink handpiece. At the bottom here, I have my speakerphone button that lights up green and routes through the speakerphone. And finally, I have my volume key. I can adjust the in-call volume. And when the phone is idle, I can adjust the ringtone volume. Finally, a couple of buttons that I haven't mentioned so far. You have here hold and transfer, uh, but I tend to use the keys on the screen simply for accessibility. If I end the phone call, I have my redial button here, which basically takes you into the same button as history, okay? With my ability to go across as I can in the history button. Final button left is the voicemail here. Press the envelope. Please enter personal identification number, then press hash. Enter your PIN, press hash, and follow the automated prompts.